This is Craig with Carshalton Advisory. In this video, we're going to work through part one of the Objective 2.1 practice tasks for the Microsoft Office Excel 2016 Core Exam Study Guide. Let's get started. Open up your Excel 2.1 workbook. Now, our directions tell us that everything that we're going to be focused on today is in this range from cell B4 all the way to G19. And, and we can, or excuse me, G9. So we can highlight that by, by clicking and dragging. We can start in our first cell, press our shift key and click in the last cell, which will highlight that whole range for us. Uh, the other thing that we can do is use a shortcut by holding control shift down arrow takes us to the bottom. And then a, while still holding control shift, a right arrow takes us all the way to the right hand side. Now, what we need to do first off is to copy all of these cells. So uh, in order to, before we can paste them, they have to be copied. So we can copy by right clicking and selecting copy. Our other option and what I'm going to encourage is to use a keyboard shortcut and hit control C. We can tell that we've copied this now because of this green dashed box that surrounds our cells. Next, we need to go into B18, but we can't just paste. So if I just hit control V, I, I've done the wrong thing here because they've asked us to paste just the values. Uh, and that's something that in some cases you'll want to do. I call it sterilizing the data uh, and that we can I can put a copy down and nothing's going to change uh, because there's no formulas uh, anymore or references within the, the values that we've put in here. So I'm going to undo that. And instead, I'm going to right click and go to paste special. Now, there are a bunch of options here. Now, we've been given a clue that we want to paste values. And as well, we want to include the formatting. So our second option in under paste values is, um, or excuse me, our third one is the source formatting. So this will bring all the formats, but only paste the values. So I'll select this. And now we have two versions of the data. Now I can compare. If I look at the top here in this total cost column, I can see that there's a formula up here of C5 times E5. When I click in the corresponding section in our new array, you'll notice up here, it just has the value. It doesn't have the source. So if I wanted to say, okay, well, let's take a look at how many ads we have our total cost. Um, I can copy and paste this. So now I have essentially a record or an archive. And now if I wanted to, I could make a change and go up to nine. And now I can say, okay, well, our new total is 89 or 8.9 million versus the old one of 8,800. So this stays frozen and this one uh, will be live and change for us. All right. So next, we need to paste just the formulas into a range starting at B25. So we have our cells copied here. I'm going to go into B25. And this time for paste special, I'm going to do it a slightly different way. I'm going to hit Alt, Alt, ES. And this time we want to input just the formulas. And in this case, formulas is F. You can tell it's an F because of the underline underneath the letter F. So if I hit an F now, it's going to say formulas and I'm going to hit enter. And sure enough, there is all of our values. You notice all the formatting is gone. We don't have any commas or any dollar signs. There's no bold or formatting. But when I take a look at this, Sure enough, I have formulas in this section, uh, but none of the formats, just how they've asked us to. All right, next we need to paste just the formatting, but not any of the contents. So I can do that again uh, by using Paste Special. So we can either right click and use Paste Special again, or we can use our shortcut of Alt. ES brings up that dialog box, and we want to paste just the formats. So in this case, formats, the T is underlined. So I'm just going to press my T and hit OK. And now we have just the formats from that section pasted in. Perfect. Now we want to delete some rows. So there's a couple ways that we can do this, and I'll show you more than one. Uh, first is we can highlight by clicking the numbers here on the left the entire row. So I can click on all of these drag down to the three rows I want to get rid of. And now I can right click, select delete, 
and all of those rows are now gone. Okay, so now our headings have moved up to column or to row number one from where they were before. The second way to do it is uh, with the keyboard. And so what we want to do is uh, for keyboard shortcuts, we're going to hit shift and space bar at the same time. And that's going to highlight the entire row one. I'm going to now hold my shift key and down arrow down to row three. And then lastly, I'm going to hit control and minus at the same time. And that deletes those three rows for me. So I can do all that without having to put my hand on the mouse. Uh, if you're going to have to uh, delete a bunch of rows out of a worksheet, you'll probably find that to be a simpler way of going through the process. Next, we need to delete a column and move the magazine column over to column A. So we can do that by clicking on the A and highlighting the entire column, right-clicking for delete, and that gets us to where we want. Our other option is with the keyboard. So I'm going to move my uh, selected cell into that column A. I'm now going to hit Control Space instead of Shift Space. That highlights my whole column. And again, I'm going to hit Control Minus to delete that whole column from my worksheet. Now we need to cut the data from uh, the third row and insert it into row two. Now. I'm, I'm not a big fan of this particular request because when you look at the uh, the results that you're supposed to get, there isn't a straightforward way to get the results that they've shown. Now, when I first saw this, um, you know, my instinct is to select that row of three. I'm going to cut it and I'm going to insert those cut cells into that right above two. Now, what you've noticed is it's essentially shifted two down, put three at the top, but our total is still the same. So it hasn't impacted that. I haven't lost any data, uh, but I'm going to hit uh, undo. How it looks like what they've done is it looks like they have cut this and then they have pasted it in. And so now we've lost what was in row two, uh, but have replaced it with the information from row three. Oops, I'm going to undo that. All right, next we want to insert two blank cells in the positions of B8 through B9. And this is going to shift our existing data down. All right, so I'm going to highlight those two cells. I'm now going to insert by right-clicking and selecting Insert. Now the other way that I can do that is by, once those are highlighted, I can go into the Home tab on the ribbon. Go over here into Insert and then insert cells. Now, either way, when I select this, it's gonna give me an option. Do I wanna bump everything over to the right or do I wanna shift them down? So we have been instructed to shift cells down. I'll click okay. And so you'll see both this cell, but also everything below it has now been pushed down. Uh, and I think they wanted to, to highlight this just to show you that this can be a little bit dangerous uh, because if you insert and are not uh, careful about it, Anything that you've done elsewhere in your worksheet is going to be adjusted and, and look pretty wonky. And so you won't be very happy, I would suspect, if uh, that's happened. If you do something like that by accident, there's always the undo. Okay, so you can either hit Control Z or select our undo arrow uh, in order to uh, undo a mistake like that if you've ever made it. I've always tell people that undo is your friend. Uh, for some of us, it is our best friend uh, because we are in need of it very frequently. All right, our final task is to transpose the names in the magazine column to the first row of a new worksheet. All right, so we are going to take the names here of column A. And so they've told us actually all of column A, A1 through A6. I'm going to copy these by hitting Control C. And I'm going to hit the plus over here on the right to give me a new sheet. Once I've done that, I'm going to do a paste special because if I just hit paste, uh, I'm going to go back here and recopy this. I'm going to do a new sheet. Okay, so now if I just hit paste, control V, I get all of the items here in a vertical row. And so that's not transposed. So I'm going to undo that, use my best friend here. I'm now going to paste special. I'm going to hit alt ES 
And this time I'm going to transpose. Now the E in transpose over here is underlined. So when I hit an E, it's going to tick that box for me. And now I can actually just hit the enter key. And now that I've done that, I have that same data, but instead of paste it in a vertical column, it has now transposed it, meaning move it in the other direction. So horizontally now across the first row of this worksheet. Thanks for watching this lengthy part one. Um, please stay tuned and we will get part two up here shortly for you. Thanks for watching. This is Craig with Karsalton Advisory.